Defining structure constants makes absolutely no sense if you don't have the Planck field. If you don't have an ether, it makes absolutely no sense. Like, what the heck? And that's why all this time, this scientific community is like, well, it's just a number we throw in and it comes out right. So, you know, um, and it's, um, and so one over 137 is kind of like, the thing and and it turns out that like if you actually it's not quite that it's it's a little more it has more resolution on it but so so you don't know where it comes from until you realize the atom the electron and the energy levels of the electron and the relationship to the fine structure constant is because you're looking at basically you can think of it as um, um, harmonics harmonic relationship in the structure of space right like oscillation modes in the structure of space that are going to be very well defined they're going to come out so these these fundamental constants they just come out because there's fundamental relationship in the structure of space that defines these very specific nodes, if you'd like, interference pattern nodes in the structure of space that, you know, which eventually transfer to our mathematics when we're trying to describe, you know, atoms and electrons and all this stuff. It starts to come out these fundamental constants because the geometry of the field dictates it so we notice when we make measurement that these values come out and we don't know where what what they are and where they come from but we know that if we plug that number in our equations work right we call them constants and they are constants because the structure of space resonate at very specific frequency at very specific harmonic relationship 